Good morning, it's Friday, November 19th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Foundation Issues, and our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Paul writes, But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead. He is the first of a great harvest of all who have died. So you see, just as death came into the world through a man, now the resurrection from the dead has begun through another man. Just as everyone dies because we all belong to Adam, everyone who belongs to Christ will be given new life. But there is an order to this resurrection. Christ was raised as the first of a harvest. Then all who belong to Christ will be raised when he comes back. After that, the end will come when he will turn the kingdom over to God the Father, having destroyed every ruler and authority and power. For Christ must reign until he humbles all his enemies beneath his feet, and the last enemy to be destroyed is death. For the scriptures say, God has put all things under his authority. Of course, when it says all things are under his authority, that does not include God himself who gave Christ his authority. Then, when all things are under his authority, the Son will put himself under God's authority, so that God, who gave his Son authority over all things, will be utterly supreme over everything, everywhere. I've got some foundation issues. A man arrived at our house the other day to look at a crack in the foundation. Just the sight of a crack in the wall that has our bedroom on the other side of it robs me of sleep. It's like living in an earthquake zone. You never know what's going to come crashing down. We're getting the thing fixed, but that kind of assurance doesn't come cheaply. This part of Paul's message to the Corinthian believers is just one of many that offer the wonderful assurance of resurrection and God's authority. What's so reassuring about those thoughts is how they're backed by Scripture's unwavering message of the nature of God's being, all truth and all righteousness. To have a sovereign who rules with absolute authority, fidelity, and compassionate kindness means the end of injustice, the enthronement of eternal goodness. That is the foundation with no crack in the construction. Like the peace of mind I'm going to experience when the steel rods that's going to hold my house's foundation are secured and anchored to the bedrock of the earth's crust, Scripture's assurance of my faith's eternal foundation also comes at a great cost. Paul tells us Jesus' resurrection is the first in an unbroken line of untold millions. All those who are in Christ, those who place their entire trust in the sacrifice of his blood for us, will follow him in resurrection. Short story, Jesus died a real death and was resurrected from that death. The grave couldn't hold him, and he said we could too. For you today, what is the foundation of your faith, being born into a Christian family? Having an uncle who is once a preacher, doing good stuff, being a good guy, not being a bad guy? If it's any of these or anything other than the blood sacrifice that stained a cross on Golgotha and the evidence of an empty tomb, you've got foundation issues. Uh, I know a guy who can fix that. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.